Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetsTube.com, and today we are going to do a hands-on review of the Panasonic P51, which is going to be the first Android phone from Panasonic. It has been launched here in India, from, and this device has been launched with a flip cover, as you can see, uh, which is good enough to protect the display. However, uh, you cannot like expect this flip cover to turn off the screen when you flip it. You will have to turn off the display and then make sure that you flip it. Flip cover first of all. We have an indent for the earpiece over here. You have the Panasonic branding over here. Magnetic thing over here which actually attaches the flip cover to the device. And if you actually do it like this, it won't fall down as you can see. So the flip cover has a magnet over here and it attaches itself when you flip it like this. And if you actually do it like this, and if you hold it like this, again it has the magnet, so it will hold at the position, it will not fall off. But other accessory which you can have with this particular phone, this stylus will also come, which is again a capacitive stylus, not, it is actually not a kind of a S Pen which you have seen on a Note 2 or something, but it is okay, uh, you can use this kind of stylus uh, with this phone to uh, annotate things, you can uh, draw certain patterns, you can uh, add anything or on the display you can edit the pictures and then send them so you have these two things which will come with this phone uh, and this phone comes for a price of around 26,900 rupees here in India and this device looks pretty good and pretty solid in terms of the build quality at the back you have a rubberized back cover uh, which again will give you a nice grip into your hand it is quite good and portable uh, the form factor of the phone is pretty okay and uh, as far as the display size is concerned it has got a 5 inch display which is an IPS LCD display uh, the processor on this device is a 1.2 GHz quad core processor which is a MediaTek processor and it runs Android Jelly Bean 4.2 so it has Jelly Bean the later version of Jelly Bean as of now uh, as far as the RAM is concerned it has 1 GB of RAM uh, 4 GB of internal storage out of which how much of that is actually available we will just tell you uh, and you can also expand the storage of the device with a micro SD memory card and you can add a 32 GB micro SD memory card maximum as far as the thickness of the device is concerned the device is fairly thin it is only 8.5 millimeter thick and let me just first of all give you a hardware overview of the device so this is how the device looks like at the bottom you have nothing but a hole here for the primary mic uh, here you have the IPS LCD display 5 inch display and the resolution of the display is 1280 into 720 and at the back side we have an 8 megapixel camera uh, the rear camera which is an autofocus camera and it can shoot high definition videos at 720p and we will just tell you whether it is capable of shooting videos at 180p as well and you have an LED flash over here you have the secondary hole here for the mic for video chatting and noise cancellation you have the Panasonic branding at the back and here you have the loudspeaker for the device take a look on this side you have the sim card slot so it is a dual sim phone and you can insert a sim card inside these slots so definitely they have to be a micro sim because these slots are actually small so you have to make sure that you cut your sim cards one sim will be 3g and the second will be a 2g sim and if we actually take a look over the other slots uh, on the top you have the power and sleep key you have a 3.5 mm audio jack which is a universal stereo audio jack and on this side on the top you have the volume rocker on the right side and here you have the another port for micro SD memory card so you can insert a micro SD memory card over here to expand the storage as far as the battery is concerned the battery on this device is 2500 mAh battery which seems to be quite good and it should be sufficient for this much display size and we will just tell you uh, during our review as far as the uh, display is concerned you have 5 inch high definition IPS LCD display before I go for the software version you have the earpiece over here which looks pretty good you have the front camera which is a 1.2 megapixel camera and it is a fixed focus camera and uh, you do have some proximity sensors over here uh, behind the display which you can't see uh, and the viewing angles if you take a look are also pretty good you can see the display from this angle as well as from this angle so again pretty good and the Android version which I am seeing over here as far as the UI is concerned it is 
quite optimized and customized for this particular phone. This is how all the applications will look like. You do have some regular applications. Apart from the regular applications, you get some extra application which is called the cam scanner, which will allow you to actually scan the documents. As you can see over here, you do get Google Chrome pre-installed. And we have the camera as well and we will just show you the camera later on. You do have an application called LED Torch which will allow you to use the LED flashlight as a torch which is over here. And as far as other applications come, you also get the Panasonic help so that you can contact the customer care. And they do have a good support as far as the customer cares are concerned uh, if you face any problem with this device. Go into settings and if we take a look over the about phone. So we have Android 4.2.1 comes to storage uh, this is how the storage scenario look like you have 4 GB of internal storage and out of which around 2.05 GB is available and after all the pre-installed applications and other data you have around around 1.25 GB available as of now and you do have the support for the FC card and one thing which you would like to know is that you can also specify the default storage location for the apps and the games which you will install so once you install insert an FT card inside the device you will be able to install apps on the FT card as well as you can also move the apps from the phone memory to the FT card and if I just go out from here and take a look over the RAM let me just show you the RAM situation so this device has got 1 GB of RAM and right now 381 MB of RAM is used 591 or 594 to be very precise is free and the device is fairly responsive so under the display you see that the brightness which we have you do have auto brightness support and if I go over here on the uh, location access you do have GPS support as well again that will be an assisted GPS support on this device the GPS on this device for navigation and that will be an assisted GPS and if I just show you the camera UI uh, let me just how the camera UI look like you do have the option to go to take HDR photos so you have the HDR mode supported on the device you have beautification mode you have a panorama mode over here uh, within the camera UI and you have a multi angle view shot which is supported on the device here we are in the normal mode and let me just take a photo and the camera shutter key is quite fast not the fastest which we have seen and you do have the option to do video recording and you can pause the video recording in between as well as you can see over here and let me just take some photos with this so that you can actually find out the overall quality of the camera here we have the object and let me just take a photo right now so it has just taken a photo and let me just preview this so this is how the photo is looking like in terms of the clarity of the object it is not very good as far as the colors are concerned it is pretty okay Least. let me just take the photo once again maybe it had some problem with the focusing let me just try tap to focus so now I have taken the photo again and this photo seems to be better than the previous one again in terms of the clarity of the object as I zoom in I see the object is not very clear but the colors are pretty okay so the camera quality is okay uh, not the best uh, again we have captured the photo in low light so you can't expect much I'll show you the settings for the video so when we go to the video settings over here so the video quality is high that is 720p and if you set it to fine you can record the video at 1080p as well and the file extension for that video will be a 3gp video and if we actually go over here for the photo settings you do have the continuous shot supported on this device you can enable the zero shutter delay as well and uh, the picture size is 8 megapixel right now the maximum which you can set again pretty good and if we actually take a look over here you can have geotagging on the photo which you will take you do have the option to control white balance you have different scenes color effect as well and let me just go out of the camera UI and show you something else of the device here we have some videos on the device and uh, they seems to be high definition video and let me just apply uh, so here we have a video which is right now running on the device and this is a high definition vi video which is running and as you can see the viewing angles for this video are pretty good you can watch the video at different viewing angles there is no problem with the viewing angles concerned on the device and this is a 1080p video you can play the video at 720p as well on this device 
next device is running Android 4.2. So you, you can see the notification center over here, which looks like this. You have the toggles over here for the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and everything. And what you can do over here is if you swipe it like this uh, with your two fingers, you will see the toggles. And if you do it with the one finger, you will see all the notifications. So, phone dialer looks like and you do have the option to do a video call as well on this device so if you go and select a specific contact you can do a video call the video call option is not visible on the phone dialer but you can always access it uh, this is how the messaging application looks like the messaging application is a little bit the same which we have seen on other uh, android devices which are running android 4.2 and the keyboard here again is pretty okay the keys are a little bit smaller in size but they are adequately spaced from each other so there should not be any problem as far as the typing is concerned on this device we have our website which is now loaded into the browser and the browser which we are seeing over here is again the stock android browser i do not see any kind of customization as far as the browser interface is concerned you do have tab browsing in this uh, browser as you can see over here you can uh, go for different tab browsing you can also go for an incognito tab which will record which will not record the history of the web page which you are visiting and uh, again the kinetic scrolling is super smooth uh, I, as you can see and if you actually if I actually do pinch to zoom pinch to zoom is again quite fluid but the rendering of the text is pretty crisp and clear on the device as you can see double tap to zoom works quite fast as well so there is no problem with the browser as we can notice over here and the browser is quite responsive and it should be capable of playing YouTube videos within the web page and we have the Panasonic P51 in two colors so this device will come in two colors this is the white variant which we have and this is how the black variant will look like on the white uh, variant you have a glossy back cover uh, as you can see over here whereas on the black one you have a matte finished back cover which is not that reflective as compared to the white one so this is how these two variants will differ in terms of the color options from the front they will look like the same as you can see there is no difference but at the back you will notice the difference which is because of the back cover which is non-removable on both of these phones the thing i forgot to tell you is that you do have a micro usb port over here for data syncing and charging and this phone again is pretty nicely designed it is a nice decent phone and uh, uh, we will definitely get this device for a full hands-on review and we will keep you posted about that that's all from us right now regarding the quick hands-on review of uh, panasonic p51 this is a pretty decent device and it is coming in india very soon it, and we will give you a detailed overview of this device once we get the device for review thanks for watching this video this, like this video if this video helps you you can click the like button below you can click the subscribe button below for more videos like this thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you